Hello, it's Kubasek Krzysztof. Welcome in my lesson. Today we're going to make a fancy organic chair. In this lesson first we're going to create the carves. Then we're gonna use a sweep tool to make these profiles, tubes. Uh, then we're going to use a transformation tool to um, modificate all of these shapes. Uh, we're going to also um, use a revolve command to make a seat. And uh, we're going to set up design as, as you see right now. It takes a little bit of time because it's conceptual work. So, so feel free to make it your way uh, and enjoy. So uh, let's start. Let's create a new file. And first we're going to make a circle to create a profile for our uh, base tube. So I'm going to use the circle and uh, I'm going to place it, as you see, on the axis. Uh, an axis is around the zero point. Then I'm going to make a, a control point carve. Mm, and so this is going to be base shape. You can adjust point uh, as you want. And the uh, important thing is to create the symmetry line in the middle of the axis. It will help to uh, place a transformation point uh, to the certain uh, point on that line. It will help us to scale uh, symmetrical or to rotate or to make any transformations. Uh, so let's go to the sweep command. So now we're going to use a circle as a mm, profile and the uh, carve we've created as a path to our sweep. Okay, so now I'm ready to copy this shape. So first I need to relocate uh, the um, transformation point. I'm going to use the zero point, uh, which is a crossing of X, Y, Z mm, of axes. And then I'm just going to use a rotation and I have to choose a certain uh, angle. So I want to copy uh, 30 times. So the angle will be 12 degrees and each time uh, you have to duplicate that. And remember, if you select in objects, you don't have to select each one by one by one. You can use the grouping selecting as I'm doing right now to just go to the group uh, selecting by picking up the comment from the top bar and selecting the right uh, group uh, from layers. Of course, everything it depends how many times uh, you want to duplicate that. So you have to use your calculator to uh, to count all of these uh, mm, angles. I think I have one too much, so I have to delete it. So just go select it and delete it. All right, so I got base shape. It came out something like a basket. So now I'm going to uh, play with this shape. So I have to select all of the faces of the top uh, of my tubes, as I'm doing right now. And after you select all of those uh, top caps, you have to go straight to transformation tool. So select transform and pick up move and rotate. And now you see this uh, small uh, transformation point. So you have to move it from uh, point the, the software prompt and goes with it straight to the line to the top or the bottom point of the line or anywhere on the line so now I'm going to use one of the arches on the coordinate transformation um, tool to rotate the top caps
so once you rotate them the whole system is rotating with them all tra all objects are transformed into that position so this tool is really great because it gives you ability to transform your design uh, in an organic way and also you can modificate any objects you've created on your stage by just uh, dragging the edge or surface and just uh, transforming by scaling or rotating so let's just uh, give it a little bit more of the um, transformation i want to rotate those points uh, to make kind of basket which will hold my uh, seat if you want to change the, the position of your transformation point you can do it uh, wherever you like and then anything you uh, transform it's going to be transformed according that point as you see uh, right now on a, on a, on a picture So in this point you can adjust your design as you want mm, I will do a little bit more of the adjustment and I will finish with this so and again I'm going to replace my transformation tool and in this case I'm going to scale so I'm going to drag this uh, yellow controller and rescale all of those uh, faces according uh, point I've selected uh, previously I think I'm happy with this shape so now I have to prepare uh, another curve to create a profile for revolve comment and this comment will create a seat uh, object for me I have to set my view to the front view and I'm going to draw the car I'll just create the half of uh, my profile and then I'm going to use uh, offset comment offset comment will help me to duplicate that um, curve proportionally according to this uh, the same shape at the end um, I will just close this those shapes by just drawing the lines at the end of the my profiles so this will close the loop so it will help me to make any operations in the future so in this case i'm going to use a revolve comment and you can use one of these edges as a center of rotation okay uh, now i need to just place it in the right place i'm going to rescale it a little bit so i will set up in the top view I will use a transform tool to move it a little bit towards the shapes of my um, tubes and I have to swap my view to the side view and then I have to rotate that to place the angle of those tubes I've uh, created as I'm doing right now Okay, looks uh, good. So now I just need to uh, make it a little bit bigger because I want those shapes to go into that hiding mm, uh, curvature inside from the bottom. Okay, transformation is done. So let's just uh, switch all of those sketches off from the groups okay and now i 
got to go straight to the colors so I'm going to apply uh, the colors I like you can do uh, whatever you like about your design and this is going to be the last part of this lesson so as you can see you can make a uh, quite advanced shape by using simple comments this is great about that software and basically we haven't been using lots of comments it was just about uh, revolving uh, curve creating uh, duplicating mm, mm, sweeping and basically this is it so as you can see you can you don't have to use lots of comments to create the great design so this is it thank you very much for watching and uh, and uh, good luck